So with the new mask mandates and the mandatory vaccination requirements from employers, we wanted to know people are going back to stricter COVID protocols on their own. Uh, new at 11, CBS 17's Nick Sturtevant is live in downtown Raleigh for us tonight. And Nick, the big Galaxy Con event is taking place uh, there this weekend. What are those fans saying about all of these changes? Yeah, that's right, Rob. We talked to some people going to GalaxyCon. We also talked to some people just hanging around downtown Raleigh, and some people that we spoke with said they're putting safety back into their own hands. Follow the guidelines of the science. We're definitely more concerned, um, even though we've all been vaccinated. James Lucas and John Miles are stepping up how they protect themselves from COVID. They told me they are fully vaccinated and both have decided to wear their mask at all times when out in public. It is your decision, but is it a sensible decision? You know, are you going to affect someone else based on you not doing what you're supposed to do? We've been making sure that we've been doing what we need to do, but it seems like there's a lot of people that just don't seem to take it as seriously as they need to be taking it. Vaccinated people who do have a breakthrough infection are clearly capable of transmitting the infection to an uninfected person. The CDC says recent data on the Delta variant prompted the agency to recommend everyone wear a mask in indoor public settings where cases are surging. Friday marked the second day in a row North Carolina has more than 3,000 new cases. And our hospital numbers continue their climb with more than 1,100 patients. Follow the guidelines of the science, and the science leads us in the right direction to overcome this, then we need to pay attention to that. And you guys, according to the state, as it stands right now, 61% of adults here in North Carolina are at least partially vaccinated, while 57% are fully vaccinated. Live in Raleigh tonight, Nick Sertervin, CBS 17 News. All right, Nick, thank you.